Hear you there. We are going to make a multi screen chaser game. Welcome screen, the play screen, which you already have, and the loser screen. Sort of like we did with Scratch. Here's what we have so far. You should have this already. If you don't, you need to get it. So go back through these lessons and make sure you get it. You may want to tweak where your rocket goes. Remember the screen's 320 wide by 450. So when you run it, you click on the rocket, you don't want it going off the stage. Rocket, click, set position randomly. There's X, there's Y. Let's go ahead and add a console log here. Okay, so when I click the rocket, you'll see down here, it shows up in the console log. This is helpful. Okay, we're going to add a welcome screen. So let's go to design first. Before we do that, name this play screen. All right, the way to add a new screen is right here. Drag this on. We're going to call this welcome screen. And we're going to make this default, meaning this is going to be what shows up when you start playing the game. All right, let's add text here. Welcome. And if you want to change the size here, it's right here. I'm going to put it like 30. Move this. Add another label. Type this in. Okay. Add a second text box. Mine's going to be a rocket. Wasn't good. You know what? Let me uh, sort of made a mistake there. Okay, set this up where you want it. Let's go ahead and add images. Put three of them on. Choose icons. So I'm doing a rocket. I'm going to choose that. Choose. Icon, to again choose, go to the icons, okay, okay, I'm going to put a button on here. play button and the text on it
Okay, let's go to uh, the code. Click on the button. Click on the, hit this design here. Click on the button. Go to events and insert and show code. This will put code in for you automatically. So make sure you're on design. Click the button. Make sure it says play button there. And see how it puts a console log in for you. You have to tell it now what to do though. So we want to set the screen when this is clicked on. And we want this to go to the play screen. Try it out, run, start playing. Okay, let's go on here. We're going to add a background image to the, the play screen. Go to the internet. Change that to play screen. Go to design mode. Okay, go to the internet. You're going to do a search. Whatever your game is, some of you had running, some of you had a heart, smiley face. You need a background for it. I'm putting the size of my screen here. 320 by 450. Search. If I click here, see, it's 320 by 450. I'm going to right click copy. Actually, you're going to go save image as. Right click save image as. And say where you're going to save it, what the format's going to be. That's fine. JPEG or GIF, either or. Space background. Save it. Let's go back to code.org. And click on your play screen. Go to image over here. Go choose, make sure it says play screen here. Choose your image. Now you're probably going to have to upload it. You notice I have this uploaded already, but you have to upload it like that. Okay. And then hit choose. And there you go. Now you may have to tweak this a little bit when you click on it. If you go to uh, property, you go to uh, you go somewhere, <laughs> somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. Well, let's run it. Start playing. Okay, go back to uh, code view. That's fine. Design view. Let's go to the second screen. Play screen. Okay, that looks fine. All right, so as long as you have that, that's good for now. We will work on the other ones on Monday. Have a good weekend.